he has going so hacker rank super string solution oh, i'm assuming you already read it all right so this is what we're going to be doing okay we're going to convert this into an array so we have an whatever string we're going to convert into an array we're going to iterate we're going to create 100 iterations all right 100 iterations and we're going to be changing the original array so we're going to be using splice as opposed to slice does that make sense because splice alters the original array so here's what we're going to do we're going to have a variable we're going to call it test or whatever right it's going to be set to zero so we're going to have index in here of the array which is zero one two three okay right and this is going to be our array which is made out of string so test is going to so we're going to look at is this equal to test plus one if no add one to test right so this is not equal to this naturally this falls off like this right so now our test is one is this equal to this yes okay if that's the case we are going to splice right at the test at the test right two numbers so this is gonna go away so this gets removed and we're going to minus one from the test right because we want to go back one step because you have to remember that splice changes the array so the step that we have now done we have to revert back otherwise it's gonna jump to here all right so we're gonna minus one all right so now this becomes zero so now our array oh whoops i probably have to look i have to keep the index in right so now our array uh, becomes this because splice alters the original array remember that right so now test is zero it's going to compare is this equal to this if so we repeat the step again we we take out uh we're going to splice a test to remove them right and then we're going to have a condition in our iteration loop that if this array is empty we break the loop we break out of the loop right and then naturally we return if the array is empty we return empty string if array has some something in it we return that uh, array only in this case we convert the array into string and then we return it if that makes sense all right so let's put this stuff here and let's do that with a machine whoopsie all right so okay so let's do this right so let's create s we're going to be altering the original array so s split console log s right so now it's going to be an array right so let test equal to zero for variable i equals to zero we're going to do it 100 times i plus plus remember as soon as s if s length equals to zero we want to break out of the loop break okay and we're going to console log s in here right so you'll be able to see it all right so now what are we looking for we're looking for comparing the condition uh, comparing the iteration of test test plus one so test right now is zero is zero and index plus one right so it's going to be a to b if a to b is equal we want to spl splice if not we want to go to the next index which is test plus plus uh, test plus one okay so we're going to put this at the end test plus plus right 
You can do it this way as well. Test is equal to test plus one. Makes no difference, right? Now, I'm going to create a condition. If, if uh, S test, so if this thing here is equal to test plus, uh, is equal to S test plus one, right? Now, I'm saying test, you can call this, you can call this anything you want. You can call this index, anything you want, right? Makes no difference. Shake and bake, right? If that's the case, right? We want to first. We want to splice at test two elements, right? Because they're equal, right? Because it's going to look look. Test is going to be one. It's going to splice test and the next element, right? So our S is going to become A A. And we want to go back one step. So test equals test minus one. Because, because you see, if it's at one, we want to go back to zero and check this one again. <sighs> because otherwise it's going to jump to A and will not consider the previous one. So we want to go back one step. Right? And that's it. Yeah, I think that's about it. Test is equal to test minus one, right? S splice, right? Yes. We do this 100 times. I think so, right? Oh. Yeah, we want to continue as well. In here. Right, because... Um, if you don't continue, what happens if you don't continue? Wait a second. Yeah, it gets stuck, right? Why does it get stuck? Um, I remember I had that problem. Because in theory, it should go to the next, right? So it's definitely not here. Uh, let's see. Console log here. So it's definitely not here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You need to put continue, right? You need to put continue. Otherwise, otherwise, uh, it will add, it will minus from test. And then it's going to add to test, right? So you're kind of canceling this operation. So if you put continue, you're going to skip this. Because the way for loop works is you can add a break out of the for loop. So this will completely exit out of the for loop, right? Which is in here. Or it will perform these operations, right? And continue tells the for loop to move to the next cycle. So ignore this code in here. See the way like break completely ignores this code, right? And just exits from the for loop. So continue is the same thing, only it will ignore this code here and restart the operation. Like this start the iteration, if that makes sense. Right? So if we remove continue, it will get stuck because uh, it will minus and then plus. So we have to put in continue. Yeah, so that's that's the problem. And then you want to basically return. So condition. Now you you can do the if statements, but uh, that thing might start complaining. The timeout exceeded or whatever. Blah blah blah. I'll do it for you so you can see it. Right. Let final equals um, s. And then we want to join, right? So if, you can do it this way, if final.length equals to zero, 
we want to return. What do you want to return? We want to return, I think, empty string like this. Else, we want to return uh, final, I think, like this. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure if this test is going to pass because uh, it's quite picky in terms of, like, sp speed. Because you want to probably remove console logs as well, right? Yeah, we want to remove console logs. Any console logs? No? No, no console logs. Okay. So run the code. All right. Submit the code. Oh, it worked. Huh? All right. And that's, that's so, so that's about it. Yeah, so the trick in here is to make sure that you continue. Otherwise, this test is going to run. Actually, I'm going to put it into my... Uh, yeah, but that's... That's the that's the thing. That's how to do it. All right. Take care. Bye bye.